Today we will be doing choosing a sample size, proportion. This will help when choosing sample size n. First, we need to go over some formulas that you need to know. So first is margin of error. Margin of error is z star times the square root of p hat times q hat all over n. And then standard error is the square root of p hat times q hat all over n. And the point of estimate is p hat, which equals x divided by n. Now remember, the standard error is the estimate of the standard deviation. And remember, x here is the number of successes. And n is the sample size. When creating a confidence interval, you want your margin of error to be small enough so your interval isn't too wide, but your confidence level to be high enough to be useful. So some things you want to um, know about this is high confidence level means really confident but wider interval, and low confidence level means less confident but narrower interval. And also remember, as n increases, our confidence interval decreases. But as n decreases, our confidence interval increases. To get a narrower interval without giving up confidence, you need to have less variability in your sample proportion, meaning sample distribution of p hat. You do this by increasing the sample size. You can choose a sample size ahead of time to give yourself a desired margin of error with a certain level of confidence. What value do we use for p hat? Remember that we don't have a sample yet. We might have to estimate an estimate of the population proportion based on experience or a previous study. If so, we can use that value. If not, we can use the cautious conservative approach, choosing p hat equals 0.5, since that will lead to the largest sample necessary, no matter what the true proportion is or what your sample proportion is once you do take your sample. So some things to remember with this is when we have our formula, margin of error equals z star times the square root of p hat q hat all over n, you're solving for n. For p hat, use 0 0.5 or previous data. And our margin of error in z star, we choose this or our margin of error is given to us and we choose z star based on that. So let's go ahead and look at an example. So we're gonna look at page 449, number 31. So this is talking about graduation. It is believed that as many as 25% of adults over 50 never graduated from high school. We wish to see if this percentage is the same among the 25 to 30 age group. A, how many of this younger age group must we survey in order to estimate Estimate the proportion of non-grads to within 6% with a 90% confidence. 
B, suppose we want to cut the margin of error to 4%, what is the necessary sample size? And C, what sample size would produce a margin of error of 3%? So if we're using p hat 0.25, this does not guarantee a margin of error. So let's go ahead and do letter A first. So with all of this, we know that p hat is going to be 0 0.25. So q hat is going to be 0 0.75. We know that our confidence level is 90%. And our z star, our critical value, is 1.645 for this entire problem. For A, our margin of error is going to be 6%. So we need to use our margin of error formula. which is margin of error equals z star times the square root of p hat q hat all over n, and plug our values in. So our margin of error is 0 0.06 equals 1.645 times the square root of 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 all over n. Now we need to solve for n. In order to do that, we first need to divide by both sides by 1.645. And when we do that, we get 0 0.036 equals the square root of 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 all over n. The next step in solving for this is squaring both sides. When I square 0 0.036, I get 0 0.0013 equals 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 all over n. Now, to solve for n, we get n equals 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 all over 0 0.0013, which gives us an N of 140.9. However, the number of people would be 141 because we always round up. So N for A would be 141 people. You need to always round up. So now let's look at B. Suppose we want to cut the margin of error to 4%. What's the necessary sample size? So for B, everything is the same except for the margin of error equals 4%. So I would have 0 0.04 equals 1.645 times the square root of 0 0.25 times 0 0.75 all over n. You go through the same steps and solve this, so pause and try to do that now. And when you went through and solved this, you should have had n equals 317.11. So our actual answer would be n equals 318 people. And then for C, what sample size would produce a margin of error of 3%? So here, the only thing that changes is our margin of error is 3%. And we would have to solve for this again. So you plug everything into the formula, then you can go ahead and solve for it. 
and you'll get n equals 563.76. So that would be 564 people. And this is using p hat equals 0.25. So this actually does not guarantee a margin of error. So all of these would not be guaranteed using 0.25. However, if we use p hat 0.5, it does provide a guaranteed margin of error. So what I want you to do is I want you to go through A, B, and C on your own and go ahead and find out the number of people for each one. So pause the video now and do that on your own and then check your work. For this entire problem, our P hat equals 0 0.5. So our Q hat is also 0 0.5. Our confidence level is 90%, which makes our Z star 1.645. For A, our margin of error is 0 0.06. We would plug that into our formula and get 0 0.06 equals 1.645 times the square root of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 all over n. When you go through and solve for n, you would get n equals 187.92, so N would be 188 people. For B, our margin of error is 0.04, so you'd have 0.04 equals 1.645 times the square root of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 all over n. Solving this, you'd get n equals 422.82, or n equals 423 people. And then for c, our margin of error was 0.03. So you'd have 0.03 equals 1.645 times the square root of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 all over n. Solving this, we'd get n equals 751.67. So n equals 752 people. So I showed you both in the example, but it does not mean you have to do both. You need to look for the words like guarantee particular margin of error as a clue to use the cost, cautious conservative approach. So when you see the word guarantee, so when you see the word guarantee, you would use this cautious slash conservative approach. In order to find it, so you'd use p hat equals 0.5.